Okay guys, welcome back to Comic Universe, DPC rolling solo once again with some more DC news! Um, yes, first we talked about it with Idris Elba, uh, we were, uh, doing a bit, you know, I talked on here about, uh, the, new, the uh, possible news of Idris Elba possibly playing Deadshot, and now we got some more DCEU news, uh, regarding some villains! Yeah, we got some villain news! So, first and foremost, we're going to talk about the uh, Black Adam movie. Yeah, you guys remember when they said that they were going to do a Black Adam movie, and then, you know, they kind of forgot about Shazam, and then Shazam got on the ball, and now, look, you know, I've heard nothing but good things from early reviews of Shazam. So it looks like, yeah, uh, I honestly thought they, they forgot about Shazam, uh, Black Adam, and we were just going to put him in Shazam, you know, in the second Shazam movie at some point. So that's what I thought, is that they were just going to forget about Black Adam and just save him for a Shazam sequel. But nope, I guess the Black Adam movie is still happening. And it looks like Black Adam is going to have some guests in that film. And those being what looks like the JSA. That's right, the Justice Society might be in Black Adam. Now, keep in mind, so far it's only two, three members of the JSA, but there could be more. From, er, from supposed leaks from the Black Adam movie, um, there is a casting call for Hawk Girl, Hawkman, and Star Girl. So yes, uh, Black a so yes, members of the JSA, and there could be more. And again, take this with a grain of salt. Now you're probably wondering, well, that makes no sense. The JSA with Black Adam? Well, it's not totally um, wrong. Remember, for those diehard JSA fans, Black Adam as well as Shazam were members of the JSA. Black Adam, for a while, did become a good guy. He was kind of like, for a while, Black Adam was like the Vegeta of the DC Universe. Um, and he actually was a valued member of the JSA. So, the, um... So it's actually not too far away from, uh, from uh, those, you know, from having him in here. Now, if he's a member of... I don't think he, in this film, he's going to be a member of the JSA. If anything, I think he is a... Uh, Black Adam, of course, Black Adam uh, still being played by Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Um, I think it's going to be him fighting the, the JSA. I don't think he's going to be a member of the JSA. Um, but I, honestly, it's one of those films where you could have the villain be a hero. It actually works a lot more for, Bla for Adam than it does the Suicide Squad, in that the... The character of Adam, he is very much obsessed with law and order, and he's actually been a hero at points. So he could easily be a member of the JSA, but then just go rogue and attack members of the JSA. Um, and it also depends of where the J the characters of the JSA are, what timeline this is in. This could be in the 40s. They could easily pull a first Avenger type story and have that uh, Teth Adam... Uh, appeared in the 40s, you know, alongside the JSA, or they could all they might alter, and I don't want them to alter uh, the path, you know, the origin of Teth Adam because Teth was the uh, was the pr was the champion of Shazam way back in ancient Egypt. Remember, he was a he was uh, an Egyptian who was given the power of Shazam, and then he went a little stir crazy with it, and he got banished. So it could be that he was the champion of Shazam for a while, and the 40s rolled around, and something happened, and it drove him nuts, and then he got banished. So yeah, what it looks like is they're trying to make Black Adam, the Black Adam movie, like a prequel to Shazam, and then in Shazam 2, the the two are going to fight, which is actually a neat way to do this. You got, I've said this before, and I'll say it again. DC, and they're having, a, they're getting the edge over Marvel in this regard, is that. Um, they're doing stuff that Marvel isn't doing, and that's how how you keep the you know the interest in the comic book movies alive. Is that you have to go outside the box at points, and DC I think realizes this. You know, doing a Black Adam movie, a villain movie, as well as the Joker movie and Suicide Squad movie. So there you go. You've got this. Um, you've got a neat story, and it would be this could be a neat idea of ha of, of showing the rise and fall of Black Adam. That'd be really cool. Now, are we going to get his other characters, like his own... He had his own Captain Marvel Jr. He had uh, Osiris, and he had his wife Isis. And as well as, he ruled a country in, in the Middle East called Kandak. So, could it be that Black Adam... Um, it could also be that... Well, it would be also a neat idea, because remember, when in the New 52 continuity, if I remember this, the, sla you know, the re Rebirth slash New 52 continuity... Um, 
Black Adam was brought back by a cult in Kandak to, you know, uh, protect, the, save the city from dictators. So it could be that Kandak is either under attack by the not. If we're going, again, going by this assumption that, uh, Con you know, this is a 40 story, since we have members of the JSA in here, could it be that Black Adam, you know, the Nazis are invading Kandak? Because, yeah, the Nazis did get as far as the, as the Middle East. So, could it be that, you know, Black Adam is summoned from his exile to fight alongside the JSA, or he's killing, mem you know, he's killing the rulers of Kandak as well as the Nazis, the JSA get involved, and it becomes a beatdown from, from then on. It's hard to say, and I'm just throwing out ideas at this point. And again, keep in mind, like I said earlier, this um, this is all hearsay. That's as far as we know. You know, it's just a rumor that Star Girl, Hawkman, and Hawk Girl are in here. So it's safe to say, if those characters are in there, we could see, you know, Sandman. We could see, uh, you know, Wes I mean Wesley Dodd's Sandman. We could see Adam Smasher. We could see. Um, we could see, you know, Alan Scott maybe, or Jay Garrick, or other characters of the JSA, like uh, Liberty Bell, or Citizen Steel, and characters like those. But, it's, uh, you know, nothing's been official yet, so who knows. I'm pretty sure we'll get more news it, uh, with Black Adam after, you know, Shazam gets released. I have no doubt of that. So let's move on to the next bit of news, of another quote-unquote leak, in that um, Jane, more news about James Gunn's Suicide Squad, and this got released a couple days ago, and I figured I'd we'd talk about it here on the Universe Now, and that is the quote-unquote leaked lineup for James Gunn's Suicide Squad, and this is, so, and like, I'm willing to, again, I'm, I'm pretty sure this may not, um, happen, this may not happen, but, again, it just sounds like such a James Gunn lineup that it works in a weird way, especially with one character in here. So the characters for the new Suicide Squad, quote-unquote, is King Shark, uh, Ratcatcher, the Peacemaker, and Polka Dot Man. Yes, Polka Dot Man. <laughs> oh, man. The only thing that would have made it better if it was Kite Man. If it was seriously Kite Man. Ooh, too soon. <laughs> if you've if you've read War of Jokes and Riddles in the Batman comics recently, then you know what I, you know, what ooh, too soon for Kite Man means. Anyway, um, so there is, so, let's talk about this lineup. I was kind of expecting King Shark to be in the new Suicide Squad lineup, um, and I'm actually kind of okay with a new lineup, and again, this may not be the full lineup, or not even the lineup at all. Because, like I said, Suicide Squad, more than any other team in the DC Universe, or comics in general, has a revolving door scenario. It very much has this revolving door scenario, because some characters die or get or escape or get released from their uh, time in the Suicide Squad. And again, Idris Elba playing Deadshot, yeah, that could may or may not happen. I personally hope... Um, that maybe he's not, maybe they don't, th maybe it's revealed that he's not playing Deadshot, and maybe he's playing Bronze Tiger, because that would be a way better, not to say he's, you know, um, he's better than Will Smith, I'm just saying, like, um, I feel like he could play, I feel like he's more suited to play Bronze Tiger, you know, this badass martial artist who, usually, who sometimes is given a British accent in some continuities, don't know why, anyway, I digress. Um, so yeah, I think that's really funny. Now, I, again, it sounds like such, because it, it, in a weird way, it, this team kind of works, you know? Like, in a weird sort of way, this is a Suicide Squad team that you could see James Gunn putting together. I was kind of expecting King Shark to be in here. Um, Ratcatcher is a, if you don't know who Ratcatcher is, he is a low-level Batman villain who uses rats in his schemes. Um, again, and we also have the Peacemaker, who is a passive, who is a character I'm not familiar with, as much as I know obscure car comic book characters. Peacemaker is one that kind of floats under the radar. So Peacemaker is a villain who is a pacifist, but uses lethal message to, uh, methods to defend peace. He's a walking oxymoron, is what he is. <laughs> and then we have Polka Dot Man, and I know what you're thinking. Oh, Polka Dot Man's gonna so frickin' die at the end, you know, before this movie's over. Well, knowing James Gunn's sense of humor, what might be the running joke is that everyone makes this, like, constant joke of, oh, Polka Dot Man's so gonna fucking die in, in, on this mission. You're gonna die, Polka Dot Man. And everyone else dies, except Polka Dot Man. <laughs> that would so be the luck, is that 
that would so fit in the uh, James Gunn sense of humor is that he's the only one that makes it out while everyone else thinks he's gonna die. Or on the other end of the spectrum, he could be, you know, he could be the Kenny of the story where he's constantly getting the shit kicked out of him um, throughout, and then he makes it out alive. <laughs> So I have no doubt that James Gunn would put Polka Dot Man on here. <laughs> anyway. So, there is pretty much all the... So, yeah. Again, take all of this with a grain of salt, but these days with DC News, after their success with Aquaman, um, and now what their apparent success with Shazam, uh, yeah, it looks like they're getting bolder with their stuff. So, I'm... I'm, mean, you know, I think we could take a little more with this grain, a little more with a grain of salt. But keep in mind, it's nothing official yet. So you guys tell us here at Comic Universe, what do you guys think of all this news for uh, DC, for the DC films? What do you guys think of the JSA possibly showing up in the Black Adam movie? What do you guys think of the Black Adam movie on a whole? And what do you guys think of uh, the new lineup for the Suicide Squad film? Do you like it? you hate it? And who would you put on the Suicide Squad in movie continuity? Just comment below, let us know. Um, and also, once again, if you haven't already, go check out our uh, giveaway. And if you're new here, remember Hulk, smash that subscribe button. I'm DPZ, and I will, we will see you right here once more in the universe.